Okay, so I'll start off my story like this. Um, about three years ago, I attended a course called the Apps for Good course. And it was all about empowering young people through using technology. So basically, we had to come up with some issues in our community that we were passionate about and then try and address those with a mobile phone application. So we got to thinking about loads of different things, came up with some different ideas, and actually one of those was like, um, it was called the ghetto fridge. So you basically, you know them days when you haven't got much in your fridge, you got like a tomato, you know that, that last piece of fat bread as well, you get me? And maybe some cheese. And then you put these things into the app and then it kind of puts it together and says maybe you can have like, Whatever, do you know what I mean? <laughs> so um, that was one of the things we thought of. It wasn't really as successful as what I'm going to talk about right now or, you know, or what this has the potential to do. So basically, um, stop and search was something that me and my peers have been affected by. Um, and it was something that was quite big in the news at the time as well, because the whole um, Section 44 thing was going on. And that was basically where the police could stop and search anyone without reasonable suspicion. And it's like, in 2011, like over 100,000 people were stopped and searched under that, um, that law. And none of them were arrested for anything to do with terrorism. Do you know what I mean? So it was just a complete abuse of the power. Um, so with all that in mind, we basically came up with the idea of the stop and search app. And the whole thing about it was to kind of bring more accountability to the stop and search procedure and to empower the, the community to know their rights when they're getting stopped and searched. Um, so the three sections that are in the Stop and Search app are the Know Your Rights section that basically says what you can do, what you can say, why you might be stopped and searched. Um, and obviously we hope that just um, brings more clarity to the situation and obviously knowledge is power. So we hope that it helps people to move in a more calculated and calm way. Because like certain times when you get stopped and searched and you don't know what you can do or what you can say, it can kind of just make you feel aggravated, do you know what I mean? And you might end up saying a couple of swear words or you might end up just getting angry, you know? And then, you know, if that happens, sometimes you can get um, arrested un under like a public order offence for swearing or being intimidating. So we hope that with this knowledge, people will actually be able to move in a more calm way and say, you know, I can do this or you can't do that or I can say this. Um, the second part of the app is the upload your experience section and this bit's very important. It basically allows you to feedback what happened in your stop and search as soon as it's happened. Do you know what I mean? So you answer questions such as how much respect do you think you were shown? How valid do you think the reason was for your stop and search? Um, how cooperative do you think you were? And any additional comments that you want to add to that list to provide context to the situation. Um, you upload that along with the ID number of the officer who stopped and searched you and then, sorry, <laughs> and then using geolocation, that's like a mapping tool in smartphones, it basically clocks it to the exact place where you were stopped and searched. So we're looking to build up like a big picture of where all the stop and searches are happening in the UK and how people feel about those stop and searches. So we're just hoping that this is going to bring more accountability to the procedure because people will actually be able to see, everyone will be able to see now, and it's everyone's data. It's gonna be up online for free. Do you know what I mean? So you'll be able to see exactly what's going on in your community with Stop and Search. And sorry, the third part of the app is to view your local stops. So you can actually go into the app and look in your local area and see where people have been stopped and searched and how they felt about it as well. So um, all of the results from this will go onto the website for everybody to see. And basically, like an example of how the data can be used, it's like, say if like a, a police officer's ID number keeps cropping up in a certain area with bad stop and search experiences, then we can actually highlight that with the relevant authority and say, you know, this has to be investigated because this guy is having a lot of, of a bad effect in the community. Do you know what I mean? So that's the main thing about it, just that... Yeah, so it's all about this empowering the community and just making the stop and search procedure a fairer one. Do you know what I mean? And since we've done the course, um, a lot's happened. Um, we're just working on the official launch at the moment and that's going to be in September. 
So if everyone tells someone, if everyone gets ready to download it, it's going to be on iPhone, Android and Blackberry. Um, we were on the ITV 6 o'clock news the other day. Uh, we won like a Liberty Award at the end of last year, a Human Rights Award, which was great. Um, what else? So much has happened. And like, yeah, the police contacted us and they basically, yeah, they contacted us. They hollered. But it was like, we weren't sure what it was going to be like. Do you know what I mean? We thought they might be like, what's what are you doing? You know what I mean? But they were quite, um, quite supportive, actually. They even offered to fund what we were doing. Do you know what I mean? But, yeah. Yeah, but we basically turned that down because we just... <laughs> Cause we just want it to be a complete independent thing, do you know what I mean, for the community. And we feel like a lot of people lack trust for the police. And it's like, if they think like, oh, okay, so you're on the payroll, they're not going to trust it, do you know what I mean? You might think your phone's getting tapped or something like that. So it's nothing like that. We're completely independent. It's completely by the people and for the people. And just, yeah, just please use it when it comes out, yeah? Thanks.